Hey there guys, this is Becca with You Can Book Me and today we're going to be syncing some calendars together because I don't know about you, but I have 10 million calendars. You know, you have your work calendar, your personal calendar, your spouse's calendar, you've got your kid's soccer schedule and 10 million other schedules and trying to balance them all is cuckoo bananas. So for some reason, I've worked at You Can Book Me for like almost two years. I still haven't been syncing my company email to my Apple calendar. Why am I checking multiple calendars at once? This is just ridiculous. So we're going to fix it together and sync my work calendar, which is Google, my Google calendar with my MacBook. And then while we're at it, stick around. Even if you're not an Apple user, I'm also going to set up a You Can Book Me account where I'm syncing Google and Apple accounts into it, show you how to do it because it's super duper easy. So if you're not an Apple user, just scroll on ahead to the Google stuff. That's fine. That's cool. Uh, but we're going to walk through both today because why is it taking me two years to set it up? Insane. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to open up my MacBook settings. We're going to go to internet accounts because what is your Google login? It's an internet account. Cool. You'll see here I've already got all my personal emails, my iCloud, both my Gmails. They're in here. Why haven't I added my work email yet? Don't ask questions I don't have answers to. Let's hit add account. Obviously, we're adding a Google account today. I'm adding my work Gmail account. But if you had other things like iCloud, if for some reason you're still a Hotmail user, guilty, I still have one of those, uh, and you want to add that in, a Yahoo, an AOL, um, or whatever the heck else, pick your battles here. We're going with Google. It's going to ask you to open up a web browser, and that's fine. Let's do it. Alrighty, friends. So we've opened up a little pop-up here, and it's asking us to sign into Google. My password manager is going to try and autofill some stuff, but my lovely video editor is blurring out my personal details for you guys because it's none of your darn business. But let me type in my username, blurred for my protection. And then we're gonna add in my password, two-factor authentication from my phone. I know how to do that. One, two, three, huzzah, it worked, fabulous. Love it when things are smart. It's asking to access information. It's asking to connect my Google to my MacBook. Yes, yes, please. And again, my fabulous video editors here blurring out my personal details because you don't get to know those. But let's hit continue. What does Mac need to access? Read emails, etc. Yep, nope, that's cool with me. Read, edit, delete contacts. Again, cool with me. I would like my systems to speak to each other. So I'm just going to hit yes to all, but go with what you're comfortable with. And let's bring back system settings. So what do I want to sync? Mail, contacts, calendar, notes. We're just here to do calendar. I don't actually need the other things to sync. So we're just going to do calendar. But again, go with what you need. We're not judging. There we go. Just like that, again, blurred for my protection. But I have now synced my personal Apple computer to include my work email in the calendar. Let's see what that actually looks like. Alrighty, welcome to my chaos. That is my calendar. Go ahead and judge. If it doesn't hit my calendar, it doesn't happen in real life. On the side here, you can see that I've got my work email address here. Again, blurred for my protection, but it is currently not showing my work stuff because I've got it all unconnected here. Let's turn it on and let's add some things. Look how magically way more stuff is showing up in my calendar. Um, to her on, click and choose the calendars on the side here that make the most sense for you. Maybe you're a hockey fan like me and you want NHL turned on. I can look at a glance and say, holy man, my team's playing against the Calgary Flames on Wednesday and we're going to win. Flames kind of suck. Sorry, Flames fans. Maybe I don't want to see hockey. I can turn it off. But click and choose which calendars you want to see. There's duplicates in here because I haven't been syncing my work calendar, my personal calendar. Everything's been uploaded twice. That's a later problem for me to deal with, but whatever. We're fine. We're doing it. Most important thing here is I can now see that my work stuff is showing up in here. I've got an ads call tomorrow. I should probably show up to that. Glad that's in my calendar. I was planning for the October webinar on Tuesday. And do you know what? It showed up in my calendar now. Awesome. I do appreciate having everything in one view. Now I just need to do the cleaning bit where I get rid of all these duplicates that I took the time to put in here knowing dang well that I was going to be syncing them later. We all make our own messes and we're going to clean them up together and that's okay. Now that we have everything syncing, let's talk about the next topic here, which is adding everything into your You Can Book Me account. I'm going to log in and we're going to add in a bunch of stuff together. 
Alrighty, now that my personal calendar and my work calendar are actually synced with my MacBook, let's actually like add a calendar into my Look Me because as much as I don't have time to check 18 calendars when I'm figuring out what my day looks like, I also really don't have time to check 18 different calendars when I need to book a meeting with somebody. Instead, I want my booking tool to look at literally all my calendars simultaneously and just do the job for me, make sure I don't get double booked. I don't have time for that nonsense. So let me show you how to add a calendar. It's so super easy. Um, so when you log into you can book me, you're gonna either have your profile photo or this fun little smiley face here in the top corner. Let's click it and let's click my account because you're gonna edit your account. Once you're in here, click on integrations because we're integrating a calendar. Cool. Um, you can choose whatever calendar company you want. If you're a CalDev person, Fastmail, Gmail, Apple Calendar. Again, if you're still a Hotmail person, we don't judge. We love you too. But I'm going to connect to Gmail or Google Calendar here. So let's click Google. It's going to ask me to choose a Google account because I wasn't kidding. I have 10 million of them. They are blurred for your pleasure. You're welcome. But I do have a lot of them. Let's pick one and log in. Obviously, it's going to ask for my permission. Yes, please. This is literally what we're here to do. Yes, 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 yes. And that was easy. It's connected. Cool. All it took to add my calendar was just those quick couple of clicks. Now, what does that look like when it comes to my booking pages? Let's go to a booking page. These are a whole bunch of silly little booking pages that I've made for different demos for different videos I've done over the years. Let's play with the Beaumont Beavers laptop reservations one. We're going to click on who. I'm who. Me my calendar. Where is it going to check my availability? Let's hit edit. It's going to pull in all of the calendars that are connected with that Google account I just added. And we can pick and choose which ones here make the most sense. So if I want it to show up in my personal, I can. If I want it to show up in Kate's calendar, because I have connections to that one, I can. Um, I can pick whatever calendars I want it to check my availability on. So if I want to make sure I never take a meeting when Kate's busy for some reason, sure. That doesn't make any sense though. But the Edmonton Oilers, my hockey team, I'm clicking that one off for sure. I don't take meetings when my boys are on the ice, my butt's on the couch, I'm cheering, I've got my jersey on. Cool. Um, we're checking our availability here. So let's have it check my personal and my other personal. Uh, and we've got it checking my You Can Book Me. And then let's have it check my calendars for my traveling too, because I don't know, I can't take a meeting if I'm on an airplane. Click off all the calendars that you wanted to check on, hit next, and just like that, those are the calendars that you are going to have your booking tool check every time you get a booking. That way, you never have to worry about being double booked. I'm having it check five different calendars here. Perfect. I don't have to worry about it. Everything is being checked. You can book me will know to not book me based on those schedules. Where do I want it to put the booking? So as we've discussed, I have 18 different calendars. Which calendar is it putting the bookings in? It decided based on the calendar I uploaded that I should put the new bookings on my You Can Book Me calendar. That does make sense. But I can also hit edit and choose any of my other calendars in order to decide where I want it to schedule the booking. And because I've already synced my work calendar and my personal calendars into my MacBook, it's all going to show up in my calendar because I'm organized finally. It only took two years, but we're going with it. Anyways, very simply, this is how we're adding a Google Calendar to an Apple Calendar, and then how we're adding our Google Calendar or any other calendar you'd like into your You Can Book Me so that it knows which calendars to check availability on, as well as where to place your booking when you get booked. So if you have any questions on this or anything else around scheduling, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at any time. We're always more than happy to help, and you have an awesome day. Thank you so much for watching.